What's going on guys? It's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports and this is David. We have an awesome video in store for you. We're gonna have a two-part thing where I'm going to uh, Baja, Mexico with my galvanized Raptor with uh, a team from Expedition Off-Road. We're doing a five-day course all the way down to Laredo and back up. David, what are you doing? I'm going over to the Run Rally. It's kind of like your traditional rally where we go cross country, but it's story driven. There's actors involved. You might see some action sequences. I'm going to the 2018 Galpinized Mustang based off of a DTM wide body. It's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of action. So let's see what's in store for us. Check it out. We have no idea what's what's about to be acted out. Hey man, just give me a minute to explain this to you, and if you don't like it, you already got it, brother. After one of the jumps we took off, we landed, and the truck just went dead. So it's 1.19 a.m. And I can officially say this is the earliest I've ever gotten up for anything. Uh, this is the beginning of our uh, epic expedition off-road Baja Sur trip. So tag along with us. I'm going to pick up Casey. He's going to be my co-pilot. We're going to do a couple days down in Baja. I want you guys to check it out with us. Guys, what's up? It's David checking in here for Galpin Auto Sports. We've arrived to the Outrun Run Rally. Showing up was insane. We got a prime parking spot right in the middle, and we're about to show you guys what's going on. Check this out. Perfect. Some of the cars we got outside, that is nothing compared to what the studio has become. Check it out. Sorry about your money and that job going south wasn't my fault. Hey, I don't give a shit about your intentions or your apologies. All you are to me right now is a living, breathing embodiment of why people shouldn't fuck with my money. I can get you your money every red cent with interest. I swear to God. You messing with me, kid? No, no. No, I got a big score. I got a big score. Ask them. Hey man, just give me a minute to explain this to you, and if you don't like it, you already got me, brother. Hey, should I let him go? Yeah. 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 Grab him, boys. Windows will basically spring up, and as they spring up, they will continue the story. For all the rally drivers, it's all from your perspective, because every rally driver is the protagonist in the story. The opening sequence is up right now. The second scene that you just saw will go up next, and then it will continue from there. So that's how you follow the story this year.
right, what's up guys? We're here, it's officially about to kick off the Run Rally Runoff. We're headed out to Palm Springs along with 30 drivers to find out what's gonna happen with this storyline, to find out if we're gonna have to do this job, are we gonna execute it properly, are we not, are we gonna fail, are we gonna pass, who knows? Good morning, so this is morning two. Uh, we had an awesome night's sleep. Uh, it was nice to get a shower in and just relax. Uh, it's eight in the morning, we're hitting the trail again. We did a once over on the truck, truck's looking good. And we're ready for another day of fun. What about you, Casey? I'm always ready. All right, let's hit it. All right, guys, we're here at checkpoint number two. This is the heist. This is where we gotta secure the bag, make sure we get to the safe properly. We've been texted the code, and we gotta make sure we get out of here. So let's see what happens. point today so we're gonna do another 40 miles on the trail and we're gonna end up in Loreto which is our southest point so you can see this is a very nice little spot we chose to come and hang out so we build on the trail So one of the first modifications you're going to see on this Raptor is the front bumper. Not only does the front bumper give you added protection from hitting anything on the trail, but also we're able to mount lights on it. So these lights are going to be on and they're going to be running on the trail so the vehicles in front of you can see where you're coming from. So I'm going to turn them on so you can see what they look like. These lights either in a strobe fashion or they're going to be on all the time and this will help you with visibility. Moving 
to the wheels and tires. Traditionally, most people will not go with a 20 inch setup uh, off-roading. You want a smaller diameter wheel with more tire. But we teamed up with 1221 and they built these phenomenal wheels for this truck. I was the only truck out there running 20s and it did so well. No, no damage, nothing bent, uh, and the wheels took a lot of abuse. Um, again, the guys over from Yokohama reached out to me and said they wanted to test out one of their new tires. This is the Geolander MT G003. It did very well as, uh, as well. Uh, handled all the terrain we threw at it. It had no flats, no punctures, nothing. Uh, moving on into the suspension, an Icon 3.0 setup up front and an Icon 3.0 setup with an RXT in the rear. Up front we have billet control arms, a 3.0 uh, coilover system with a uh, reservoir. Uh, this is where your excess shock fluid is and it cycles it through the shock to avoid overheating and give you optimal performance. Moving over to the back, you can see the shocks as well so this is the shock with the reservoir and then you have a bump stop right here when you jump the truck this bump stop stops the axle from traveling up and bending the frame and allowing you to take those jumps and land smoothly and softly towards the back of the bumper on the back side we've installed an SVC uh, bumper what this bumper does it allows you to increase your departure angle so you end up cutting down all the bracketry that hangs low you do not have your spare tire any longer down here so you save that room there so that way when you're off-roading anything that you jump off of or any ledges you go off of you're not going to be damaging your vehicle we went ahead and we dovetailed the rear of the bed too to match the lines of the bumper so Raptors come from the factory with 34 inch tires almost 35s uh, these tires that I'm running are 37 inch tires so what in order to be able to run this bigger tire what I had to do is run a different fender up front to not uh, have rubbing issues so these fenders are two inches higher up and two inches flared out compared to what the stock would be you can kind of see how it's aggressive compared to the back we are, went ahead and installed these got them painted wrapped them in clear bra to protect them from any damage and this is allowing me to run a 37 inch wheel and tire package under the hood we supercharged the vehicle uh, it is a 6.2 liter engine running a 2.9 liter Roush supercharger putting out 590 horsepower and uh, methanol injected as well what's up guys David here checking in again it's the start to day two last night was pretty intense we got the heist settled out we got our money now Gus is sending us out to make sure that we deliver his money if not we don't know what can happen so all of our rally participants are ready to go we're going to start off at the gas station checkpoint and then we're going to go from there get some highway runs and then some canyon runs all the way leading up to san diego it's going to be a great day for driving a great day for enthusiasts let's see what's going to happen Hey, so why do we do this, man? Let, let me know, what are we doing out here? Why, why, why are you into this? Uh, I love cars, I love driving. I think I love driving more than anything, whether it's fast or slow, whatever, stuff being behind the wheel. And then enjoy doing that with the company of friends. And I think with the Run Rally, it's all of that. But what we add on top is just the sensationalism of taking a road trip and just having a good time and it not being about you know, a car doesn't have to be, you know, six figure, you know, car doesn't have to be super exotic. It's just everybody out here loves to drive. And then when we add like all the stuff we do at the rally in terms of the movie kind of stuff and feeling like you're in a story, that just, that's just the icing on, on the cake, right? There's something for everybody. If you're a navigator and you've never been in a car on a long tro road trip in your life, you still got like this app and you got some cool stuff to keep you engaged while your, you know, driver's diving in out of corners. So it's, you know, for, it's something for everybody. What's up guys, Apex Dave checking in once again. We are super exhausted. We've been driving for close to 300 miles now. Everyone's taking a little rest before we go do one of the final missions. And then it's off to San Diego, man. We're all looking forward to it. We've had a lot of fun. It's extremely hot if you don't see the sweat on my face, but everything's solid. Thank you guys for checking in.
thank you. This is our last uh, live action scene of Outward. And uh, the rest of it will play out. Uh, there'll probably be a couple more videos that you can check on our uh, Instagram TV when we get back in the San Diego. So, thank you guys. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what kind of separated me from the pack in this beautiful Galpin Auto Sports custom wide body DTM inspired Mustang. Uh, first of all, we got the whole wide body kit that comes out, including the front splitter. For contact, we got the Toyo R888 sitting on 20 inch 1221 wheels that we work together with the guys for. We got this whole custom wide body kit, as you guys can see. APR performance rear spoiler just to be able to make sure we get the most in downforce. And here, let's check it out. Let's pop the hood so you guys can see what's up. This car has just about every bit of Ford performance that you can imagine, down to the Ford Performance Roush Stage 3 Supercharger. Thank you, Tommy, for getting that for me. It's your traditional 5.0. This car makes about, what would you say, Tommy, about 700 horsepower? It's about a little bit over 700. A little bit over 700 horsepower in this thing. More than enough, especially with those sticky tires, to be able to have our run and do what we needed to do. You guys, that's a wrap. I had an absolute blast on the Run Rally experience. The R888s and the Ford Performance suspension on this Mustang really complemented each other and meant for some really solid canyon carving. How was your event, Tommy? I had a great time as well. The suspension, the Icon uh, suspension that we have on to the 1221 wheels, to the Yokohama tires, everything did very well. Had a great trip and I'm looking forward to doing it again. None of this would be possible without these galvanized vehicles. If you guys see, gas has a little bit of variety. We got trucks, we got street cars, we got hot rods little bit of anything so we want to know what would you guys do with a galvanized vehicle what kind of trips are you guys going on yeah post up what you guys want to do or what you guys are looking forward to do and we could always build a vehicle that suits your needs until next time we'll see you then